Whatever your dreams, HCC can make them reality. College classes, extra training, a new career. Be whatever you want to be. From HCC, you can go anywhere. HCC, smart decision. We're going to do our HCC smart and bad decisions in the Texans draft. We're going to do it just since Gary Kubiak has been the head coach. And after that, we're going to bring in Barry Warner for his draft rant. Andy, let's start with the good things. What do you think is the best thing that's happened to this team in the draft since Kubiak took over in 06? Well, first of all, bringing in Barry Warner is ACC TV's bad decision. And let's go to the good decision. The good decision is the 2006 draft. I thought I was being original by saying this, but during the break, you told me somebody's already pegged the 2006 draft of the Houston Texans, the best draft of that year. And I, I definitely have to agree. When you look at Mario Williams, when there was so much pressure to take Reggie Bush, Vince Young, they went outside of the box and brought in Mario Williams. And I think he has played his position better than the other two guys have played their position. You could argue that point, but I'm going to go with Mario Williams there. No, Number two, second round pick was your NFL Rookie of the Year, one of the top five middle linebackers in the entire NFL, and D'Amico Ryans. Then you go to Charles Spencer. This is a bad luck situation, but it was still a very good pick. They took Charles Spencer, then right after that, they took Eric Winston in the third round. If Charles Spencer did not have that career ending injury, I think they would have their bookends on the offensive side for years to come. Instead, they have Eric Winston, who's still starting there, and they feel the need later down the road with Dwayne Brown. But I really, really am impressed with what they did in 2006, and I can't forget about one of the top tight ends in the NFL, Owen Daniels, being taken with the number five pick for their draft selection. I really think that they were dead on in the 2006 draft. Don't forget the last pick of that draft was David Anderson. David's helped him a lot. Okay, give me your worst one. The worst is this is not a shot at the player, but I didn't understand why they would take Garrett Graham when you had so many productive tight ends on your roster. They went ahead and re-signed Owen Daniels, so there's going to be a tight end that's going to be a productive guy in the NFL for years to come who's not going to make this roster. And there was still Geno Atkins, who's very, very productive for Cincinnati Bengals. A defensive tackle was still on the board when they decided to take Garrett Graham. So that's the one position that I was scratching my head when they drafted him. No, we know they're not going to draft a tight in, but if they don't re-sign Vontae Leach, I'll bet you your old rise guy, James Ooh. Casey's the fullback. My my best pick during all that time, you mentioned Dwayne Brown. Dwayne solidified left tackle. He was a very good pick. Dwayne's done a good job protecting the blind side. He's good as a run blocker as well. I like Dwayne a lot. Worst one, Antoine Molden, cornerback. He was a third round pick. And I know he's from a small college, Eastern Kentucky. He's got size, he's got speed, he's great personality, he's got brains. He just always injured. You know, he's not going to make the club in the tub, and he hadn't figured that out. And I think if he doesn't do anything in training camp, if there's a training camp, I think Wade Phillips will get uh, Rick Smith and Gary Kubiak to finally cut him. But uh, I, just, I just think that was not a good pick at all. And uh, they've had to draft so many DBs since they drafted Antoine Molden. I just think that was a horrible pick. 